Hello everyone, it's Prajal Patak this side and watching my YouTube channel Kaiguru. Friends, this is the last tutorial of this game tutorial series. And in the final tutorial, we'll be implementing the game over part of our dots and boxes game. Okay. So currently we have implemented the nearly all of the things. The only thing left is we have to check if the game is over. Okay, so for that, what we can do is we can create a variable here fill fill count. Okay. This will count how many boxes have been filled. Okay. So if this fill count becomes equal to the number of boxes that is 11 into 11 that is 121 our game gets over okay because all the boxes have been filled so the game gets over so for that part we can check if our box has been filled completed or not okay so here we can do the same thing uh, first of all let's uh, this res variable is storing either 0 or 1 so if it's scoring one, it means one of the boxes can be completed. So we'll just increase fill count by one, or we can just increase the fill count by RES on the reader because it also stores the one value. Okay. We can further check here if fill count is equal to uh, rows multiplied by the columns, okay, which is 11 to 11. It means all of the boxes have been filled. So we can assume that the game is over now okay we can just try if you want you can just print the value of p1 score or p2 score but currently it's impossible to print because our game has a lot of uh, cells so it's not possible to play the game completely and show you the value of p1 and p2 okay. we will create another variable here which will check if the game is over or not okay you can do here game over equals it should be initially false and it will become true okay so this it now uh, we will think of some way uh, by which if the game gets over what we are going to do is we are just going to display game over on our screen so let's do that part again it's very easy we will check if game is over then what we'll do is we will create two things first of all let's create a rectangle okay. i want to create a rectangle pygame.plex you can do the same thing like this pygame.plex and you to pass the x position of a rectangle then the y position of the rectangle then the width my width will be width minus 100 and the height so height will be minus height minus 200 so this is a rectangle then i'm just going to draw it on my screen pygame.draw dot select and then you to pass the window where you want to do it then the color then you to pass the uh rectangle itself so you are just going to pass the rect here then i want to draw an outline of this thing currently we are creating a rectangle and then i want to draw its border so for border i will just change the color so it will become red here okay and then i am just going to pass thickness of the rectangle to here so let's just try to make our game variable game over variable true initially it's false so if it's true then what will happen is a box will be shown on the top of it, like this okay so a box is being shown here we can write a uh, game over and then press escape to quit or pay, press q to quit or press r to restart the game okay like this so we are just going to do the same thing and again uh, let's just display the game over currently so over equals font dot render again it's simply an image or you can say simply a text that you want to display here you can just type game over like this and then you have to pass true here for anti aliasing then the color of your text i want to make it white then i want to display it on the screen so win dot bit the image and the position so my position will be red dot center x minus over dot get width by two basically this will just uh, align it to the center of all a small rectangle that you created if i just run this <coughs> this will just uh, type game over in the center okay basically if you want to align some center align some text to the center you just take that image take its width and subtract divide it by two and subtract it from the entire width okay that's all and the next thing is i want to show which player is the winner you can do it like this winner equals one if 
P1 score is greater than P2 score like this if P1 is a score is greater than P2 score then winner is the first player else the winner is the second player okay it's simple if else written in this one line then you can create another image winner img equals one dot render and here we are going to pass which player is the winner so we are just going to use a f string here and here we can type player and winner and you can type one here either one or two will win this game so two and then the color like this and then we can just display this thing on the screen so win dot glit and uh, we can do it like this winner img and we have to pass the x and y positions for x and y let me just copy this line copy and paste it here so we got some interest instead of over dot get with we have to type here winner img dot get with y2 and leg dot y plus 10 and still we can going to set so it at the center leg dot center y minus 10 so it will display either one or two okay so player two one this appeal it's because of this if condition initially the value of both players is u and zero so it's checking this condition since this condition is false that's why player two become the winner okay if you want you can write a full if else condition like if uh p1 score is greater than p2 then in winner is one otherwise p winner is two both are same both scores are same then there's a draw you can do the same thing but i'm not going to do it okay? and then finally we are just going to uh, write a message here press and we are going to type press r for restart okay and q for quit we are going to display this message on our screen so that player can know what next they have to do so we can create another image folder the font dot render and we are, we are going to pass the message that we have written and then the two and then the color here red okay finally we are just going to display it on our screen so let us copy this line press it here so instead of winner dot i winner underscore img we are going to make it mg img here also mg img and got with by two and then finally we to um, instead of subtracting plus 10 we are just going to add 20 to the center okay so this would do the job it plus r to restart going to quit it plus good now uh, we though we have written plus r to start we have not implemented the part so let's do that i mean it's very easy we are just going to check if r is being placed inside the event terminal part okay, okay. Uh, you can also further check uh, we only want this piece to work when the game is not over we can put the if condition here if not game over then only these keys presses should be taken in consideration once the game gets over uh, pressing these keys should be of no use okay so let's try this if condition here further you can type if event dot key uh, is equal to pi game dot k underscore q or even dot k equals pi game uh, dot k underscore escape uh, escape then our running will become false basically if you either press if a q or escape the game will end okay now we can to check if even dot k is equal to pi game dot k underscore r okay and then this time we have to just uh, re initialize the game or restart the game but for restarting the game what you have to do you have to do a lot of things you have to copy these things and paste it here okay if you just do this the game will get completed but i don't want to do it like this okay basically this will what we are doing we are just copy pasting the code or we are uh making duplicate code code so i don't want to do this 
so what i will do is i'll just put all these things inside a function so this function will be def create cells and this will return a dictionary sorry a list okay like this so you can just call this function to create a uh, thing like this okay to populate the cells then we are going to create another function def reset cells and then you can just copy all of these things put it inside it you can just call these functions uh, this time what we have to do is we have to just return these values so return position return c cell up right bottom and left that's it now we are going to create another function in the uh, reset score like this and we are just going to put the rest of the things inside it uh, we want these things so let me just cut these things and paste it here okay and then we have to re uh, return these values so return will count p1 score and p2 score that's it and finally i want to create one more function reset player this will reset the player and uh, for this we can just do put all of these things inside this function so all of our code is now inside functions so we can just call these functions in order to replay our game so return turn players and then player the next turn okay so it's, it's good now and we have to just call the functions now so let's just call it here cells equals uh, create cell function this is it now this should be uh, equal to here what is your function name reset cells let's just call it like this reset cells and then this should be equal to reset score and finally the last time this will be equal to reset player so yeah this is it and um, instead of game over we have to just make it a uh, false but instead let's uh, put it here okay the only thing that we have to do is we have to just copy these lines and paste it here instead of uh like this that's it and this will just complete our game so currently our game is over okay but once we create uh, the arc it will restart so all of the things will be reset so currently the game is over if i press r the game restarts like this okay you can just play it again finally just making it back to false with this our game is completed if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. If you would love this video, leave a like or dislike. If you want to subscribe, thank you. See you in the next tutorial where we will be building the Tetris game.